The speaker here has taken no position. And I want to assure you that on Sunday, the speaker was invited by the women rep for Machakos to attend a church service. And the priest called Father Vincent based his homily on the book of Mark, chapter 9, verse 38 onwards. And the book says that if there are wicked people in society, tie a huge stone around their neck and toss them into the sea. It is not me who said it, it's the book. The book also says, if your right hand makes you to stumble, chop it off. If your left leg makes you to stumble, chop it off. If your left eye makes you to stumble, gorge it out. And all the speaker said was that the homily was apt and our society should live that way. I am not conflicted in any way. I have no vote in this matter. I have no dog in this fight. And I can assure you the proceedings will proceed in accordance with fairness, the law, the constitution, and the rules of natural justice. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving an opportunity to raise an issue that I wish you to clarify. Honorable Speaker, we need to give the Deputy President a fair hearing. Honorable Speaker, it is on record. As you sit, Honorable Speaker, you are a neutral arbiter in this matter. This chamber sits as a trial chamber and is similar to the High Court, passed to Article 125. This is not a trial chamber. Of the Constitution. Tim. Honorable the speaker, chamber is the Senate. Irrespective of that, as we sit, Honorable Speaker, you are a neutral arbiter in this House. Honorable Speaker, it is on record that you have made a pronunciation or you have known to have taken sides on this matter. Honorable Speaker, as a neutral arbiter, you have expressed yourself on this subject matter together with the Deputy Speaker. Honorable Speaker, so that the Deputy President is given a fair hearing, would it be in order for you and the Deputy Speaker to recuse yourself of this matter? We have a panel of speakers in this House so that the Deputy President can be given a fair hearing before the floor of this House. 